an important problem sum of NCERT books and written in front of you. It says solve for the problem if a bank principal increases at the rate of 5% per year in how many years will rupees 1000 double itself. So what is the rate of interest? The rate of interest is given to you as the increase which is 5% per year. If P is the principal, let P be the principal amount. I know that what has been given to me, DP upon DT, the rate of change has been given as 5% per year. Percentage removal, division by 100. Because we are talking of principal, P should be mentioned. So 5 ones are, 5 twenties are, DP by P is equal to DT by 20. As you can see, we are moving the similar things to one side. Integration, so what happens is, this is log P is equal to 1 by 20 multiplied by T plus, so let me make it as log C. Now, log P minus log C is log P upon C and T upon 20 is here. Now, log when goes to the other side, so it remains P upon C. This becomes E raised to the power T upon 20. Now, what is it like? This is one equation that we have got. Either we can leave it here or we can make it like P is equal to C e raised to the power T upon 20. And that can be named as one equation. So this has to be named as equation number 1. Because there is no other equation I hope which will be useful to us. Right? So initially that means when time was 0, when time was considered 0, your P was rupees 1000. So after here we can write when... My time frame is considered as 0, my P is 1000. So that means 1000 you put here is equal to C multiplied by E raised to the power 0. So what I am telling is 1000 is equal to C multiplied by E raised to the power 0. So 1000 is equal to C because E raised to the power 0 is 1. So 1000 is equal to C is the first thing. The second thing, when I put it here, I also know another thing that I can make one more equation that I have to double my principal. The first thing, the value of C is already there. Multiply by E, time is changed and this is again 20 because I already know that now the time would be different. So if this is your equation number 2 and I know this is 2, this is 1, what is unknown? Time frame is unknown. Right? The rest everything is very clear to us. So that means I can easily say this cancels, this cancels. So 2 is equal to E T1 upon 20 which is equation number 3 probably. Right? Or what you can do is you can write it in another manner because what is unknown should be this side. Now log when T1 upon 20 has to remain here. So it is log log to base E because E raised to the power was there and another thing from here I can compute my T1 as 20 log to base E years because you already know that these things were there which weren't useful at all we had already used them but now yes I have found that out the answer as 20 log to base E years. The other thing here we had used this equation from 1 you have to write because if you use some equation you have to mention where you have used it. So that is how we do this kind of a question.